welcome to hack number 41. This week it's a guitar fuzz effect box. This one's a pretty simple little build. It's got, oh, let's see, three transistors, a few capacitors, some resistors. It's basically an overdriven transistor amplifier. And it's inside this little box. And uh, I'm going to show you in this video how to make it. And we're going to look at the waveforms on the old oscilloscope. First, I got to play some more of this Jimmy stuff. <laughs> Let's take a look at the schematic for the guitar fuzz box by yours truly. I actually didn't design the whole thing, I just uh, borrowed some schematics from elsewhere. This is the portion that causes the distortion. It's a two uh, transistor NPN amplifier and we're just pushing it into distortion levels with this little preamplifier that is another NPN transistor. It runs on a 9 volt battery and of course we have a 100 microfarad decoupling capacitor right there. At the input to this first stage there's a capacitor that you can change the value of. Um, I think on this one when I built it I did a 1 microfarad cap in there which gives it a bit more bass response. If you go less than that you'll have of course high response and not so much bass. The output from this first stage goes to this uh, 500k pot right here which is kind of like the fuzz control and the volume it like I said pushes this into a totally saturated distortion level and uh, then the output goes through a 10 microfarad decoupling cap and you can uh, change that one too increase the value of that and you will get a bit more bass response and it'll be slightly louder at the very end of it all there are two diodes here two uh, 2n 4148 diodes and what they do is they clip the waveform on the positive and negative portion of the wave and that's what gives us that nice fuzzy sound. I don't have a bypass switch wired into this. I didn't really have the proper switch although it's on the build at the end just so that I have the hole there and a switch in place. Where you would uh, put that switch would be right on the positive side here and then the positive side here on the output so you would put a switch there and a switch there and you can do that with one switch it would just take a uh, push on push off double pull double throw switch that would be the type of switch you would have to put in there okay let's put this thing uh, together here's the setup I got going on at the bench to test this thing out with I'm using the old diddly bow I made from uh, a hack last summer where I made the uh, homemade pickup that's running onto the uh, circuit that's here on the breadboard. And right there is the little uh, single transistor preamplifier that I pulled out of its little box it used to be in and wired it right in here onto the breadboard. That section there is the two transistor amp that creates all the distortion. There's those two diodes I told you about. Got the old uh, Tektronix 453 scope fired up. Still works great. That thing's uh, older than most of the people watching this video I think that was made in about 1968-1970 nice old uh, analog scope got the hacked amplifier here that I made several weeks ago so let's get started and take a look at uh, the waveform that we get off this thing on the scope right let's start out with just a basic tone with the volume turned down and you'll see the waveform looks pretty uh, pretty clean no clipping Got nice, uh, nice curves on the peaks and valleys there. Now as we turn it up, you'll hear the distortion, and you'll also see the change in the waveform on the oscilloscope. You'll see some clipping start to happen. You see that flat bottom. Got a little noise coming uh, from the uh, open circuitry on the breadboard there. Anyway, you can see the clipping that happens, and uh, that's why it gets that distorted sound that it does. There's that crunchiness. Well, 
it's time to get this thing in a box now. Play a little guitar with it. It was a lot of fun for me. I had to stick with it because this thing gave me a hard time, but I got it working finally. So if you're into guitar playing, check out the schematic on the uh, Hack a Week website and build one of these suckers. A lot of fun. Build a diddly bow to play with it too. That's a lot of fun. Anyway, till next time, keep on hacking.